looking like it might be a rainy day. The lawn mowing guy mowing it up. About to head the fuck out to a couple jobs. Oh, it is sprinkling, so it might be supposed to be a rainy day. A little clear that way, I guess, but pretty dark that way. Going to the scrapyard first, got the full load uh, behind us, and then after that, we will be going to two different jobs. One's a super small one, and then one is um, a pool enclosure removal for a small, like, one story house. So we'll see how that goes and get things rocking and rolling. Committed to the scrap life. They doing what you gotta do, baby. <laughs> Heavy motherfucking load today. Sheesh. Alright. Holy shit. This is the whole bottom frame of the RV. Yeah, Everything. Uh, We're about to pull up and get our scrap receipt. Part two. So we can see how much fucking uh, money we're making on this load. And this was a heavy one. A heavy one! Oh my goodness, we just got the most we've ever gotten from the scrap yeah, yard. I don't even want to, ever. I don't, even, don't tell me. I'm this, is wait <laughs> this is pretty wild. This is pretty wild. It might be backwards, but. Freaking, uh, if I can stop moving. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of blurry, but that's pretty freaking awesome. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm going to go and get everything. You got it. Just don't look at it. <laughs> You'll be shocked. You'll be like, no way. That's pretty awesome. Kyle didn't want me to say the number because freaking he wants one to be surprised. But if you couldn't see it there, $196 for that load of scrap. That is fucking nuts. Um, so I'm not going to be able to do great math. But 196 plus 98 is 294 plus another 68. We'll just add that eight real quick. Uh, six, two, 302 plus 60 is $362 for scrap for that entire, uh, for the entire RV on top of the 1600 that we got. So we're looking at 1962 in total. So almost a $2,000 job. Now, if we wouldn't charge 3000, then we would have been sitting at way more than that, but still, Live and learn. Definitely gonna charge more for the next RV, but that's fucking awesome. 200 additional dollars today, starting off the day for fucking metal. All right, we are headed to our first job of the day. Small little garage clean out, just a few items. I'm not really sure, but we'll find out. And then we are headed to another job doing a pool enclosure removal. Got a couple pieces of metal and this is what we have maybe a third of a trailer load then we're gonna head over how long did that one take uh, see i i had it as a request and i didn't even like convert it into a job because <laughs> i knew it was going to take like five six, five minutes we'll go ahead and convert it to a job and send them the paid invoice since he paid in check and we are out of here that quick probably took seven minutes eight minutes or less and that was our second official job from uh, someone seeing our truck wrap. So, oh shit. So, truck branding is working out with great effect so far. All right, it's rain about to come down. Let's get to it, baby! Wow! Like Kyle just said, that dump, dumping that literally took like a minute and a half. We didn't even raise the gate. For the dump trailer because there's only like six fucking items in there we just fucking disposed of it just chucked it out <sighs> a little bit out of breath but that's how we do shit around here that's how we motherfucking do landfill all right after we pay for this we're going to the pool enclosure you gotta see how the weather is gonna play out if it's gonna pour the rain then we may postpone it if not we'll get to it just depends but uh, it's already 9.49 and we're at 
3.36 for the day. <laughs> Need to put it back in fucking drive. That's funny. <clears throat> so, so far, shit going great. Because every day is a fucking great day. Hell yeah. Look, tea bag. <laughs> tea bag, yes. All right, we are here at the pool enclosure. It is raining, but this is what we're working with. We have a short ass ladder, so we're definitely not gonna be able to get the tall stuff with the short ladder, but we might be able to get it to come down in a different way. So we'll work on that in a few, but we're gonna work on getting the small section down. We're gonna do the overhang last. So we're just gonna, you know, work our way that way and out and uh, get to it. Progress so far. So $1,500 for this pool pool enclosure, and we've been at it for maybe two minutes, or two minutes, uh, an hour to two hours, I think about two hour, hour and a half, and we're almost already done, plus we're going to be able to scrap this for way more money than we would be able to regular metal, so get this cut down, finished up, then we got the awning, and then we'll literally be done, and that just goes to show how you can make way more money in a shorter period of time why we should charge double three thousand dollars for that RV when we took us two days. Alright. The awning is the last hard piece that we have to worry about. Starting to get everything loaded. Um you just have some more some light ground pieces and then this final frame once we get the uh awning taken care of. As you can see Doing the best we can.
fucking life, baby. Day in the life. interesting that shit is if you can even see me way down there but that's the that's what i'm what i'm doing right now fucking progress Body is off.
working on that. Don't let that collapse on you. And I got this one small piece of an awning over here, and then out there. Do everything. Finish that. Just finished up basically. Uh, Kyle's at the job site finishing, sweeping, and everything, getting everything put up. Um, literally started pouring rain out of fucking nowhere, so I am actually drenched, pants and all. Um, Scrap yard closes in eight minutes, and I'm about to turn on the road, so had to go ahead and get get everything going. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Had to get everything wrapped up and ready to go so we could uh, make it to the scrapyard. This is all aluminum, so we'll see how much we get. Um, I mean, it should be all aluminum at least, so we'll see what, we, uh, what we're able to dump it at and what we get for it. And then I'll head back, pick up Kyle, and we'll be done for the day. We are here at the motherfucking scrapyard, baby. Made it just in time, 328. Ooh, and here comes the rain again. Dumped all the metal right over there in the aluminum sheet pile. And there is the receipt. Let's see what we get. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, 333 fucking dollars. Was not expecting that. Wow. So earlier we got a 196. That was the heaviest we'd ever done, but we've never done aluminum. And now we just got a 333 with aluminum in one fucking day. That's freaking crazy. That's over $500 just in scrap metal in one day, not including the job we just did. And we did another small mini job for 130, 40 bucks total, plus uh, the job we just did was $1,500. Insane, fucking insane. All right, literally, that's fucking nuts. I am in shock. I didn't realize how much you got for that much aluminum um, slash sheet metal. And like, that's just fucking crazy literally in day in two days 500 and just scrap um so we're over 2,000 for the day which is fucking insane so that's nice it just shows that it's possible like, i mean that pool enclosure literally took it's 347 now that pool enclosure literally we got there at 10 30 finished it right around 3 15 um i still had to clean it up some clean up to do but five six hour job don't know the quick math because i'm not really worried about doing the quick math but over $2,000 today, five or, uh, over 500 just in scrap from the heaviest load we've ever done and then the most expensive load we've ever done. Fucking got boogers coming out my nose. Um, I mean, that's just crazy. 333 bucks on top of that. So basically in five hours, um, we'll just say from four, four, we'll say five, we'll call it six hours. In six hours, we did pool enclosure for 1500 and made another 333 so 1833 dollars and then on top add 140 for the job we did and then the 196 to the scrap we did so we're at like 2100 actually for the day but that's fucking awesome we need more pool enclosures give them give them to us oh my goodness and that is a wrap we are done that was our first pool enclosure ever removal. And obviously if it was like a two or three story, we'd have to charge way, way more because you'd have to fucking gain um, of some sort to be able to make sure shit doesn't come crashing down. Yeah, I hear a fucking call. Um, but I will say uh, that that just goes to show, you know, we spent two days, 18 hours total. Um, on the RV removal and we got 15, $1,600 including the tip right under or right at uh, 2,000 or right under 2,000 including all the scrap. And for this one job that took us about six hours um, including scrap cleanup and everything, um, six hours for $1,500 plus we made $333 on the scrap. So basically 1,800. Um, in six hours so that's why we just based on that you know alone time we should definitely be charging three to four thousand dollars for an rv next time but we are ready for more rvs and pool enclosures to come um i'm okay with freaking someone calling for a two or three story one and we need to rent a crane uh one of those move around crane things and Get it done we'll figure it out learning curve as we go but 
That's a fucking win. Today was a win. So gonna head to the bank, deposit some money, head to uh, Lowe's to look at a couple tools and then we will be cleaned up and done for the day. Five hours and 16 minutes for that job. For $1,833 $18 and no change. Yeah, that's how we fucking do it. So that's how we knock out a pool enclosure in five hours for $1,500. 1800 18 including the scrap that was three, <laughs> three, three, three hundred thirty-three dollars Still can't. Got Master Chef Kyle over there. These are, uh, the raspberries have become my favorite fucking thing. Holy shit. Them. Cook up city. We cooking. Too far. Can't go wrong.